Yo, what's going on YouTube? We are back with another video. Gonna be installing the Tomei Y-Pipe today. Um, right now what it has on is a 1320 Y-Pipe, um, which isn't titanium or anything, so the Tomei one should make the sound a little different. Um, might just even get louder than it is already, um, which I'm gonna show you how it sounds right now. And then I'll do a little before and after clip, basically after the other Y-Pipe's installed, so. Hopefully, these people don't hate me because I'm about to cause a, cause a ruckus right now. Probably gonna do a couple revs and leave right after because this exhaust is not quiet. It's freaking absurd. So, yeah, let's get it going. I'll probably go up to like six, seven thousand just for the one time right now, and then we'll get the hell out of here. I'll do a couple of baby pulls right here before we get to the house. Holy shit. I bet everybody in the street heard that shit. But on idle, this shit is pretty tame. You can't really hear it that much. But shit, when you get on it though, this shit's screaming. Time to throw these wooden blocks on. I'm about to do an oil change right now too. So, get two things done at once. Get the oil change done and also put on the Tomei Wide Pipe. Y'all gotta check out this clearance. Even on the wooden blocks, this shit's like, look at that. That shit is crazy. So after messing around a good amount, finally got the car jacked up. Man, that was such a bitch. Especially cause this rear muffler is here now. And it's not a single exit. I have to like be careful and not hit it on the bottom right here. And yeah, this thing should be removed soon. So it looks super clean in the rear. And I don't know if you guys noticed when I was doing the revs. Check out this side over here. And then check out this side. This one still has the mud flaps right here. And this side doesn't. Comment down below which side you like better. I'm sorry to everyone who is going to be driving behind me because the boy might just be kicking up a little, a little bit of rocks. <laughs> just a little. <laughs> oh man. Can y'all guess what I'm about to say right now? The sun is setting. When will I learn? So right here is the Tomei Y-Pipe. Look at the welds. This thing is like a piece of art. Literally. God damn. All right, you guys, we are currently under the car. And first thing I'm noticing is 
the Tomei Y pipe does not have these hangers right here. So I don't know if they're supposed to come with hangers or if they're not. I mean, it doesn't look like it since there's no weld marks on there. So I mean, I'm guessing they just like bolt on and you don't even have to worry about these. But yeah, I just thought that was kind of weird. But other than that, I mean, there's gonna be these two bolts right here connected to the test pipes that are gonna come off and two more bolts right here. After those six bolts are off, we should be good to go and be able to swap this out. So yeah, I'll just update you guys once I have it all swapped out. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. I don't really need to show you guys me going through it. So, yep. Quick little comparison between the two Y pipes. Here is the Y pipe that I took off. This is a 1320 Y pipe. See the different styles in the two. So another thing you have to look at or focus on is these two clamps. The way this inserts into the cats is it kind of has to be tilted just like this one in order for the Y pipe to fit snug. So leave these bolts a little loose that way when it's on the car you kind of like wiggle it around and find the sweet spot. But yeah. There's the Tomei white pipe and there is the 1320 white pipe. Alright y'all, we just finished up the Tomei white pipe install. Super simple. Um, yeah, I'm going to just show you guys how it looks from underneath the car. As you guys could tell, it is fully dark now. I'm over here using this iPhone light. So, you guys could see my face. But... Let me show you guys how it looks under the car. There it is. Connects from here to the cats. So what I ended up doing for this part was I just left these loose. That way when I mounted it, I was able to play with it and get the perfect fitment connecting to the cat. And yeah, that's pretty much it looks pretty dope if you ask me but there it is fully installed beautiful welds still can't get over those gonna finish it off by doing the oil change now and after that is done I will give you guys a sound clip of how it sounds let me set up this tripod and let you guys hear it. Let's go and take it for a little spin. I'll do a couple revs, nothing crazy though, and we'll see how it drives and how it sounds. Idle actually sounds really nice. Alright, so I just went around the block. Um, first thing I noticed, I used to have this vibration in the car, and that shit is completely gone now. So I'm super stoked on that. As of how loud it is um it's slightly louder but then again i haven't really got on it yet 3000 
wide pipe definitely did some wonders. Um, that shit sounds crazy. Where should I go to rev it is the real question. Um, it's pretty dark out right now. <laughs> Ain't trying to get caught up by the cops, so yeah. I don't know. Uh, I might just go down the street right here and then, yep. A couple of quick revs for you guys and then I'll be out of here. It's just too damn loud. Yeah, bro. All I gotta say is this exhaust system is fucking crazy. Alright y'all, I'm gonna wrap up the video right here. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. Um, pretty productive day. Um, got the Tomei wide pipe on. Also did the oil change and test drove the car. And as you guys could probably hear from the clips, the car sounds crazy. Um, I can't really tell the difference between the two uh, wide pipes. I'm probably going to have to play back the other clips when I revved it before and revved it after. Maybe I'll be able to distinguish the differences, but as of right now, I can't really tell, especially while sitting uh, in the cockpit, can't really... Anyways, yeah, when you're sitting inside the car, um, kind of all sounds the same, so... I'm gonna have to review the footage and I'll be able to tell probably after that. But um, thank you guys for staying till the end of the video. I appreciate it. Shout out to all my subscribers. Thank you for rocking with your boy. Um, lots of more content coming to the channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Comment down below what you think of the exhaust setup. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll catch y'all on the next one.